Running into turn number one, breaks on, and Rich DeLong is around in the 84. So second, third, fourth place all had to check up, Frank, big time, and the six of Bickford didn't make it. Yeah, Noah Gregson actually got into the back of the six. They tr both tried to go up the highest side of that eight, of the spun 84 kind. Let's see how it happened from this camera. There's DeLong getting punted by the leader, Shuddy. Wow, Alex Shuddy took him out. And then here is back a little bit further. See another angle where the seven is moved a little bit by Brandon McReynolds and then trying to avoid DeLong. That's when he gets into James Bickford. Wow, what a tough break. What a tough break right there. I mean, it's just short track racing. When something happens you know, right there in front of you, there's no place to go. You see Brandon McReynolds, he probably doesn't even really see the wreck yep. until the last minute. And the seven's of uh, Noah Gregson's already on the brakes right there. And it's just like going down the highway. You know, it's just a chain reaction right there. You just cannot get your car moved up quick enough to avoid hitting the guy in front of you. Drivers working the wheel, working the brakes, spotters working the radio, and there's a, not, just not enough room off of turn number two, so the caution is out, and another one off of turn four. And that's Dylan Capello in the eight car, that's the four, and there's the two, that's Cole Moore in the 20 car, one of the Bill McAnally racing entries, one of three rookies on his roster, here comes one of them. And there's the 20 down to the inside, just going into turn one. Clips that apron just a little bit, Frank. Yeah, he just gets in there, too, and he hooks that left front. When it does, it just actually, it's like a two or three inch lower and just drops off and hooks the car so much that it turns it around. So that's Cole Moore. And on top of your screen, there's Dylan Capello in the black number eight. Uh, he had some help. Yeah, there's the 31 of Johnny White that actually, he's the guy that spun him. And you saw what I mentioned earlier, when you spin somebody, it's hard to get away from somebody on these short tracks. And guess what happens? He goes across his nose, tears the front of the eight car of D uh, Dylan Capello's nose off, probably gets a little bit of damage on his car as well. Through in the 17th, and Noah Gregson in that seven, even with damage. Oh, and big trouble out of turn number four. Cheever is around in the double zero, and more cars involved up in the high side of turn four. And there's Rich DeLong, the 84, that was in an earlier incident with Alex Shetty. Now he's involved. Ron Norman, that silver car. There he is. Five down right there, so that's a good thing. Canon Pro Series West, and he had some contact down on the inside. Boy, a chain reaction there, Frank. Yeah, and actually, it looks like Harrison Burton got into a little bit of damage right there in the 12. You see him coming through the wreck right there, front, that white car right there. He's got a little bit of damage from getting in the back of Eddie Cheever. Behind the leaders here, there's Cheever going around, white and red 12 of Burton. Oh, tag right in the driver's side. Oh, and then got him from the outside as well. Harrison Burton in that 12 car to NASCAR came. Oh, Chris Eggleston just turned it. Turned Noah Gregson. Wow, the seven is around off of the one, moving him up out of the way, and now he returns the favor. But that is huge point championship implications right there, Dave. And let's take another look and just see how close they were and what was happening going into the corner there because Shuddy was clear. Let's see the distance. This is interesting. I don't know. They, they uh, gosh, Gregson didn't get as the he's getting a lot of help, but he's getting pushed down in there. Now he's just getting pushed down in there. And Chris Eggleston is, uh, is, uh, is hard into the back of the seven car right there and turned him around. As they entered this race tonight, Eggleston in the 99 was second in the championship to the seven of Gregson by just two points, and they've been racing close all night. Heather has caught up with the owner here. Here he comes. The 27 goes low. He does. He gets into Shuddy. Drag race to the start-finish line. Who's it going to be? Grayson Rass.